Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are ready to move on and make a little bit more progress now with the actual project that we've been working towards with our watercolor skills and all our hand drawing sketching. On this paper, there's three different examples of a finished project. They're a little bit small, but you get the idea. Um, this first one here is my sample. And if you look, there's a hand, it's holding flowers. And there's, I guess you could say that's a sun in the background with a dark sky. Maybe that's a moon. Um, in the next one here, we've got another hand with that round planet in the background and some flowers. And then in the third one, same idea. If you notice, the, the planet, the sun, the orb, whatever that is, moves. So this one's at the top and it's cropped off the edge of the paper. This one's right towards the center, maybe a little higher than center. This one's down to the bottom right. Um, when you do yours, you can put yours where you want, same thing. And But you want to pay attention to the proportion of it. If you see how big this is, there's only a, bit, a little bit of paper on each side. And same here and up at the top there. So it takes up almost half of the paper. So wherever your circle goes in the background, you want it to take up almost half of your paper. And then as far as your hand goes holding the flower, like this middle guy here, just one little stem with a couple little blooms on there. Mine had um, more. This one definitely had more. Um, you can hold your hand the way you want to. It's up to you. Um, so the first thing we got to think about is transferring, getting these ideas over onto our paper. And our paper, I can't even get it all on the screen, is definitely much bigger. So I'm not going to draw my paper right now. I am going to draw on here in really small. So you can kind of get the idea. So I let's say this is my piece of paper. And I'm going to have my little planet. Mine was off, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sketch it out. So when you sketch it on your paper, do it the same way. Most, not most, many will want to run around the house looking for a big round bowl <laughs> to trace. And you could do that if you had... Um, Something like that to trace, you can do that, use like a template, or just get kind of sketchy with it and round it out. It doesn't have to be a perfect, perfect orb. Um, in these pictures here, none of these are absolutely perfect. And the thing is, is you're going to go back in with watercolor paints anyhow and paint the edges. So I hope you'll just gotch and have fun with it. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to position your hand. You're going to draw your hand again. Um, you might want to practice on a piece of sketch paper first. Just do a quick sketch of your hand so you're warmed up um, before you get onto this good piece of watercolor paper. Um, because obviously you're at home and you only have one piece of this paper. Not to freak you out, you've sketched a lot and I have confidence that you can do this. I've done this project before and and it went really, really well. It's actually a really beautiful project when it's done. Um, so trust yourself, sketch your hands out a little bit, and when you finally are ready to go to your paper and you've got a good position of your planet or your orb on your paper, then you're gonna position your hand and you're gonna decide where's your hand gonna end up. On mine down here, my finger kind of ended here. And it also, I drew my hand in here, but I also have my arm, so my arm here. And I, you don't have to include your watch if you have a watch on. But if you want to, go ahead. It's up to you. So make sure you include that arm coming off too. You don't want to have just this floaty hand in there. And if you notice on these, actually these, well, you do see some of the wrist. So if the wrist is on your paper or your arm, draw it in there, please. And then as far as the flowers go, um, and we, you'll work on drawing that a little bit better. This is an outline drawing too, a contour outline drawing. So you don't have to worry about uh, shading with your pencil. All your shading's going to be done with your paints. So for right now, you just want to do an outline drawing and get those hands in there. 
and get your fingers. Mine's very rough because it's tiny. I'm just trying to get some things in there. And then as far as flower stems, if you have some fake flowers around the house or maybe have some real flowers, wouldn't that be nice? Um, if you could grab some and hold them in your hand and draw them. If you don't, and I don't, all of mine are at school right now. I meant to bring some home, but I forgot. So they're at school. So I don't have anything either, but you, what you could do is just set something up, maybe if you have a pencil or something, just something to give you the idea. You can get your fingers in the position to draw and um, kind of some stems going off. And then after you've drawn it in, you can go and you can Google some pictures of flowers. And the flowers you draw do not have to be actual flowers by nature, from nature. They can be completely made up. You can kind of look off of here if you want to. Try to get different views of your flowers. If you notice on here, try to hold this up. Um, usually when you see flowers in a vase, they're facing all different directions. So on here we've got a flower facing towards you. Those are kind of the underneath of the flowers. That's the underneath of a flower. And on here too, you've got sort of the side and you can kind of see the top. And then you've got the same situation here because flowers are on stems and sometimes the stems flop and you get different sides of the flowers. So try to do that too. What you don't want to do is have a picture and you go like this and this and just, you know, three flowers that are facing you like that. Let's go. My camera's not focusing well this morning. Um, let's make sure that we have flowers in all different directions so they look very realistic. And as you're drawing on your paper, keep it light. Keep your pencil light. Don't groove into your paper. Um, this way you keep it light and if you don't like something, you can go back in there with your eraser and take it off. And I want you to take time with this drawing. Don't rush it. Take your time. It's not due today. The drawing is due tomorrow. So I want you to work on it today and tomorrow. I want you to work on it for a little bit. Put it down. Come back to it and pick it up again until you get to something like this. And this is a better view of the flowers. Here you can see. Um, and you don't have to get super detailed with your flowers either. Um, just about as much detail as that you see here. Your detail is going to come in with your watercolor paints. We're really more concerned with um, what you can do with watercolor and those techniques. And as you see, mine's outlined in a black marker. You will be doing the same thing. So as you're drawing your drawings, and if some people tend to get very detailed, um, and I'm urging you really not to do that. You don't need to on this case. In this case. Um, be because it will be outlined, so remember that. So I think that's all I have to tell you for today. If you have questions when you're drawing or if you're freaked out and you think, oh my gosh, this doesn't look good, send me a picture by email and I'll look at it and I'll tell you. Um, maybe you need a little help or maybe you are just fine. I've gotten some of the watercolor samples yesterday and uh, some of the comments, they, people were, they said, I'm, I, I tried. I, I didn't have a ruler I tried or it's okay they all looked good they, they look fine I think these this will be the same case so um, I want to be able to help you if you need that help so send me an email and I'd be happy to help you um, so good luck with your drawings and remember think about your proportion first and then settle on your hand draw that hand the outline and then add those flowers and you have today and tomorrow it's due tomorrow at midnight that would be wednesday so good luck guys have a great day